All right, so let's talk a little bit about Google Translate. Um, as a student, I'm logged in to my Chromebook as a with a student account. So all this is doable uh, by your kids. Um, and I went to the Chrome Web Store and I installed Google Translate. So I searched for Google Translate. And these are the results that came up. So there's Google Translate and your button should say add to Chrome like this one does right here. Um, so there you go. I already have it installed. So I'm going to right click on Google Translate and then let's go down to options. And you're going to set your Spanish speakers to Spanish or whatever language is their primary language. Don't put English. Um, and then I like this little button right here, display icon that I can or I can click on to pop up. Uh, immediately pop up is OK, might get annoying and don't display icon or, pipe, or pop up. That means you have to go over here to the button. Um, let's, let's just leave it right here. Display icon and then save. So now I'm on this page right here and I want I'm on a web page, any web page. And I want this uh, text that I selected to be translated. So notice this little icon popped up. And now I have my English uh, phrase. But below that, notice that it has been translated into Spanish. And I can click on the microphone. Una palabra o frase que describe una acción, condición o experiencia. And it's read aloud. So I have... Uh, you know, a couple of different, um, if they can't read very well, if you got younger kids, uh, there you go. All right. So that is just over the web. This is any web page. Um, let's get to part two of this video. Um, we have a, I'll close that. Um, we have a, a PDF document that came from, I don't know, my curriculum uh, or a test or something like that. Uh, I'm going to highlight this text um, and then right click and notice that my little, well, first off, let's do this again. Notice my little button did not show up on the PDFs. PDFs are more difficult to translate. So let's do our best. I'm going to highlight the te text and chunk it. I'm going to do one little paragraph at a time and right click and then do Google Translate. So now... I have English on the left and I have Spanish on the right. And again, here is my little uh, microphone and I can listen to the text and go back to my PDF. So I can get kind of one paragraph at a time and still be interacting with the um, document. A lot of times, uh, well, let's take a look at it. Let's try and translate the whole document. So that'd be part three of the video. Uh, I'm going to, um, let me see. Yeah, so now I have the document. It's been saved to my Google Drive. And I'm going to click on Open with Google Docs. And notice that the graph might not be showing up and uh, the formatting has kind of disappeared like that little chart first off that chart's gone and our little diagram's gone or our little uh, icon's gone um, so that's kind of a bummer but um, if you don't mind all that i'm going to click on tools and then translate document so once you do this it's going to say copy of pdf worksheet i need to choose my language and then click on translate. So this will work. It might not be perfect, but uh, yeah, it it's kind of a few steps and the document doesn't come through as pretty as I'd like it. I would prefer to just chunk this one paragraph at a time and go back to the original document. But anyway, I hope these three tips have helped out. Y'all give me a shout.